Welcome back to my channel. I am so happy to share my Glam Laundry Room Makeover videos with you. In this video, I will be installing this peel and stick tile 12 by 24 inch called Carrera Marble over my existing vinyl flooring. I love how the new floor turned out. It looks like a completely different room. I will be showing you how I install them step by step going over how to cut around doorways and baseboards and how to apply caulking. Okay, ready to start? Here we go. Vacuum and wash your floors thoroughly. Use a chalk line to find the center of the room. Place the first tile right in the middle. Do not remove the back ink. Once the tiles were in place, there was an empty edge by the entrance of the room, so I adjusted the configuration. I have already determined this is the middle of the room where I placed the chalk mark, and this is the middle of the tile. Save the paper backing, you will need it for the template. I've taken the paper backing that I peeled off. I am trimming the paper to the exact size of the tile. Place template down as shown. Mark where the first cut will be and draw a line right at the beginning of the doorway. Place the template down and as you can see it's cut enough Next, you will outline around the doorway. With my finger, I am pressing down against the baseboard to mark a line and then using a pencil mark that line cut off the excess paper check to make sure it fits Place your template on top of the tile. This is what I will be cutting, but to make it easier to mark it, I flip it over and place the tile upside down, and then I place the template upside down as well. It just makes it easier to mark it. Here I am outlining the stencil onto the tile. I'm going to cut right here to make it easier to remove that cutout piece. There we go. Okay, here the tile has been trimmed and cut. And let's see how this fits. There. Okay, pretty good. And of course, this is going to be filled in with caulking. Okay, it's time to do another template for the left side of the door. Mark where the first cut will be, second cut, cut right 
there and a small cup right there. Those are the pieces that I'll be trimming off. Okay, back to the cutting table. Just want to share these beautiful roses that I got from my hubby for Valentine's Day. Oh, are they beautiful? Okay, back to work. Okay, now that the tile is upside down, as I traced where I had cut the template and I marked it now I'm just measuring this length right here and measuring exactly the same This one wasn't deep enough. Okay, I had an issue with this tile. I cut it everywhere I was supposed to, but when I peeled it off, I damaged this part right here. This part peeled off so this is basically unusable I mean you I could use it and maybe try to hide this with caulking but I don't like to do that I'm too much of a perfectionist so I did something different new tile I traced it but instead of trying to cut this out in one piece I've decided to make a few small cuts with scissors and see if this might work. Okay, I did do the two cuts right there and it seems to be working so let's do this one.
make sure all the tiles go in the same direction. Install tile tightly against the edges of the other tiles. To trim a tile, place a tile over a full tile. Then place another full tile up against the wall. Mark the cutting line where the tiles overlap. Okay, back to the drawing board. Cut where you mark the tile. Once again, trim a tile by placing it over a full tile. Then place another full tile up against the wall. Mark the cutting line where the tiles overlap. This is the tile you will cut. with a caulking gun.
is how it looks finished. I love how it completely changed the room. It looks bigger, fits in with my color scheme perfectly. Thank you for joining me on my tile installation. I hope it was helpful. Stay tuned for the next upcoming videos where I will be installing a larger cabinet, a sink, a chandelier and decor. The links to the other videos are down below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to get new notification. Thank you for watching.